All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Listen, man, we gonna react or talk about something that Neo said about the music industry, and we gonna come back and discuss. So we be back, Sketchpad. Who raised you? Crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. Alright, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hey man, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. Cash apps is right on the page now, so if you guys want to donate, they right there. Look at that. You get the thumbs up on the pink on the screen too. See that? Yeah, you know I mean we're moving on up in the world. So look. Let's get to what Neo said and come back and discuss. Music and the music industry used to be like this small elite club mm. where you had to be good at what you did in order to be in this club. Like right. you couldn't you couldn't get in here if you didn't know how to sing on key. You couldn't get in here if you didn't know how to really play an instrument. You couldn't get in here if you really didn't know how to mix records together. Yeah. Now, you push a button and anybody can do it. So this club is not elite anymore. Anybody can come in now. Right, yeah. And that cheapens the value of it. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, I spent years in blood, sweat and tears learning how to sing on key and dance at the same time. Yeah. Whereas nowadays, it don't even matter. That put auto tune on your on your microphone at mm-hmm. your show. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's auto tune on the microphone. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. come I, on, man. I, I... I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> no, go ahead. Then. Go go ahead. I, I, I actually I actually want to hear your take. Um, hear your take. Yeah. Stop bitching, Neo. It is what it is, man. This is life. I mean, d- 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 hey, get better at your craft, man. I get what you're saying, but at the same time, it doesn't cheapen the value because now it makes you, it should make you more competitive now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get what he's saying. He's basically saying that the music industry has become this place now that anybody can get in and used to be an elite club. I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't be mad at that though because everybody wants to be a star, bro. You can't say, well, the music industry is uh is just for you. Oh, I'm, I, I, I blood, blood, sweat, and tears. I, I did what I had to do to get here. Well, your blood, sweat, and tears. You did what you had to do to get here. Help people. Don't have to work as hard as you. That's just how it goes. That's how life is. You think the people who built, you think the people who built the first car. You think they're gonna like complain now? They can't. Things go on. Life goes on. Life gets life gets better in abundance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it from this point of view. I understand exactly what he's saying. It's kind of like people go to college and they get all these degrees just for them to get a job making less than a guy that works at McDonald's. You understand what I'm saying? So, I, that's that's my thing, right? Like, it's just life. It's a circle of life, Neo. Like, you gotta respect it. They make these things to they make these things to be more convenient to people and be more uh because as rappers and as musicians, the people who in control they want to make it easier for the audience to get access to it faster and make more money faster like i get what he's saying about it cheapens the brand but at the same time that's just a hustle man so i mean i got more to say about it but i'll let you go no uh, well i i got i got um 
I got a lot of pushback on this because uh, I do understand what he's saying. Um, here's the thing, right? You know, first of all, I believe he's speaking on technology wise because like uh, technology has made it easier for for the lesser talented artists to be able to come into the game and do something. You know what I'm saying? So I believe he's he's basically basing what he's saying off of that first. He's not so much, I don't believe he's so much saying, oh, like, you know, these people shouldn't come in. He's basically saying he he put he put a lot of hard work and effort into his brand to be able to make it in this industry. And then these guys that come in now are putting in less effort and they're able to get ahead faster. So I guess he's, I'm guessing that's basically, or I believe that's basically what he's saying. Like, I and you know, well, both, both well. people, both, <laughs> I mean, like you, you know. Let me ask you a question. Uh, Let me ask you a question. Would you rather be, would you rather get ahead faster or slower? Not, not, I mean, not, of course. not your ability, not your ability to be really good. I'm just asking. Because guess what? The same way he's complaining about mm. people getting ahead faster, you know who mm. gets ahead faster than them? You know who gets mm. ahead faster than the people he's talking about? Now? Oh, yeah. Now. Because you know what? He'll go to the front of the line now. You think he won't? No, I didn't say he won't. No, I'm not saying you didn't. I'm just saying, uh, and just, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, just as a rhetorical question, like, yeah. you think he won't get in the front of the line now, even faster? Yeah. So, so uh, even though, and this, and this is the part that a lot of people leave out, even though, even though he's saying that it's easier for you to get in the music industry now for people, which to be a elite club, mm -hmm. he's also leaving out the fact that. He can skip the line. He can get ahead of all of those people. And we can say, well, maybe because he's been in the game longer or whatever. But any everything that he said that they use, he can use too. And be 10 times bigger with it. Put auto-tune on the mic, right? He said that. He said put auto-tune on the mic. He could put auto-tune on his mic. It's not like it's not like all this stuff is exclusive to everybody else. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I think I, I think ahead, not sorry. to cut you off, not to cut you off. I think I think with him, right? I think it's more of a pride thing. I don't think he would want to use the auto tune. I think he would want to use his natural abilities to uh, to excel him forward. I don't think he would want to use the auto tune. I I and I don't think he would want to use a lot of the things that they're using now. Even though he probably used some, <clears throat> he can't say he don't use some because he probably does. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> I don't think, it, I think if it was all up to him, I think he would rather use his natural abilities to push him forward. But I understand what he's saying at the same time. I understand what you're saying too. Like, you know, it's just, it's just a change in the guard. It's a change in the times. Like what, what, what really can you, what really can you do? I mean, honestly, there's a lot of things that are accessible that you could use that are convenient, you know. They... <laughs> I, I I give you another example. But go ahead. I give you another example. Yeah, um, like before you go, like uh, for example, right? They got a whole studio on Apple. You don't even have to go to the studio. You don't even have to buy the microphone if you don't want to. It's all AI, all AI managed. You just go in there. Rap a verse just like you in the booth, and it takes the air pockets out. It does everything for you. And then if you not satisfied the mix, you can take it to the studio, mix it down even more. So it's like, you know, what I mean, you 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 can't have your cake and eat it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, it's it's just the way it is. But I definitely feel I understand what he's saying because I was feeling the same way, you know. But I mean, what can you do? You know, it's it's just different now that's all well, look i'll give another example coding making videos yeah. right mm -hmm. it's easier now 
for people to make games. Everybody can make games now. I mean, you could go online and figure out we can make a game. You know what I'm saying? Anybody could. Mm -hmm. Or they couldn't. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? In Neo's head, it's a bad thing because it cheapens the product. In my head, it's a good thing because now it's accessible for everybody to use. How is it cheaper in a product if you are still doing music, Neo? So basically, you're saying that your product isn't good anymore. That's basically what you're essentially saying. You got to be mm. saying. Because why does it matter if, if the other products are cheapened? Why does it matter? Mm. Does it have to really be an exclusive club? Why? So you're telling me that people... Pe not everybody should they, ultimately what Neo is saying is not everybody should be making music that's what he's basically saying yeah basically everybody's not good at this that's what he's saying but you gotta understand man people wanna do what they wanna do and the music industry looks at it from the point of view of well I don't care if it's good or not if I'm gonna make money off of it whatever yeah that's the whole thing you know what I'm saying so He's basically saying in a nice way that there's a lot of talentless people out here and they shouldn't be in this exclusive club. You know who else felt that way about, about, about people back in the day? It was, about, it was a lot of white people who felt like black people shouldn't be in the music industry back in the day. Mm. A lot of white, a lot of white artists and a lot of white, a lot of white uh, record execs. See what they try mm. to do with Ray Charles. But yeah. in, they felt like this shouldn't be in here. He's doing the same thing that they did back then. Yeah. You never know. Look at Easy Mill. Perfect example. Easy Mill. He's a Philip a rapper from the Philippines. Now what if what if us as rappers said, this is an exclusive club and nobody else can get in this club unless they mm -hmm. unless they from the black community. We'll miss out on all these good rappers. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody already said that, but <laughs> yeah, right. Like, somebody already know. said that, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, saying, yeah, for, I got you. For, for argument's sake, you might open the floodgates for a lot of people, but you also open in the floodgates for a lot of good people too. That's yeah. the point he's not saying because there are a lot of good artists that are not signed. Yeah. So, but it is what it is. Either way, man. Yeah. Catch Bad Podcast. You know what it is. Got it. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye bye.